Hey guys, it's Tony. How are you? It is Thursday night. Yes, I made a video this morning. Now I'm making a video tonight. Um, we got a lot going on right now. I'm just making some cheese sticks, not the keto friendly kind, the kind that are for Sid. Um, if you're interested, it's I roll them in flour, dig them, uh, rinse them in an egg bath, and then I um, use some of these Italian bread style breadcrumbs. And I roll them in that after the egg bath and then I put them in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes Dip them in the fryer and they cook up in about I don't know 25 30 seconds like quick really quick and you have to make sure you cover every little bit nook and cranny of these Any little hole and the cheese will run out. So you want to make sure you have a nice good solid breading on them If anybody knows how to get these open faster, that would be helpful. That's what I used to make my cheese sticks so anyways, I'm gonna work on this, but we are, for our video tonight, I'm going to be doing a French, I mean French, eh, nah, not French, a keto uh, shrimp fried rice, and then I'm gonna do a chicken stir fry. Yummy. So I'm gonna get all that going here in a minute, start chopping some vegetables, get, show you what we're gonna use, and then um, we'll get that video started. But quickly, I'm gonna make Sid some of these cheese sticks. So I'll see you back in a few. Okay guys, we are gonna use Keto Connects recipe. It's kind of like a baseline, the spicy shrimp fried rice recipe that they have in their cookbook. And um, only thing, I made a couple of changes, but um, I'm gonna get, I mean, it's a ton of ingredients, <laughs> but we're gonna get it all together here. I'm gonna get all of these open so we can just easily measure this stuff. We're gonna go easy on this cayenne pepper. Christina gonna burn her face off with this tomorrow. Okay, so I'm gonna get all of these bottles open. Looks like I got most of them. Okay, we're gonna use some ghee. We're gonna use two teaspoons of this, but we're gonna, no, yeah, wait, of the ghee. Where's the ghee? There's so many ingredients. Two tablespoons, so we're gonna, but they're divided. We use them in two separate places. So first thing we're gonna do is kind of make a rub for the shrimp. So we're gonna pretty much go verbatim on their, on their um, ingredient list. So we're gonna do a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a quarter of a teaspoon of chili powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of, oops, no, wrong one. This is smoked paprika, put that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little tiny dish of turmeric just because Christina likes that flavor. Then we're gonna put some black pepper in here and we're gonna give this a mix and then we're going to sprinkle it onto the shrimp. So I have a pound of medium size, tail off, deveined, shelled, came in the freezer department at Kroger's. Christina picked these up today. So um, they are s still a little bit frozen, so I'm gonna drain some of this water off here before I put the seasoning on. And then we're just gonna toss these in the seasoning and we're gonna get them just blended and let them sit to the side for a few minutes so that they can Get a little bit of that flavor absorbed okay so while we're doing that i've chopped an onion i'm going to get a cup of fresh broccoli head florets and i'm going to get uh, one cup of that for the same recipe so i'm going to drain some water off of this we're going to add the spice we're going to coat it around and then we're going to move on to the next tip okay guys we got our seasonings on the shrimp just toss them around to evenly coat them they still have a little more water in there than i'd like but it's going to be okay so i'm going to let these sit to the side and we're going to move on to the next step my cookbook fell down so I'm gonna get that sit back up I'm just kind of using it as a guide but you know what they this is what was ordered by the crew so I want it to be as much like the written recipe as absolutely possible I'm probably gonna regret putting my hand on that cayenne pepper easy around your eyes after that all right so I'll get these all put back up just to have less chaos so we're done with those we're still working with these. So our next, we're gonna melt, melt that one tablespoon of ghee in the, our pan over there, and then we're gonna get working on getting our shrimp. So I'm gonna throw Sid's, um, while I let this sit for a minute, I'm gonna throw Sid's um, cheese sticks in the deep fryer and get those out so he can have a snack, and then we'll get going on the rest. We got this on medium high. Go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil. had a little debacle with the with the deep fryer so 
Yeah. Oh, tablespoon, Tony. Tablespoon. Okay. Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Anybody didn't know that? Yeah. Well, that's fun. Not. Okay. I'm going to get this in here. One more. All right. So, yeah, apparently my thermostat on my deep fryer was turned to low. So, that when it said it was ready, it was really on ready low. Okay, so we're going to get this. We're going to let this melt the knee a little bit, and then we're going to start putting our shrimp. I'm not going to just pour them in there because then we're going to splatter all over ourselves. And I'm trying. I just cleaned the stove from this kitchen this morning. Like, oh my gosh. Cook and clean, cook and clean. Story of my life. All right. So we have our pan of our seasoned shrimp. They've been in the seasoning for about 15 minutes. So, there we go. We're just going to start getting our shrimp in here a few at a time. It's going to splatter no matter what, but it's not as bad as if I just dump them in there. We're just going to try to get these in a single layer. So they can cook evenly. Some are thicker than others, so you just gonna kind of watch them. I'm gonna probably cook these for like two, maybe three minutes, just until they all are like a nice pink color. A lot of shrimp, Christina. Hoping I have to get this edited and up tonight. I got a lot going on tomorrow. I'm gonna be this weekend, and it is his birthday weekend, so I'm gonna do some birthday things for him. Hopefully my grandkids are coming over and um, give you a cake. I know my granddaughter will be here and my stepdaughter Bella. My daughter probably will at least stop by whether my grandsons come or with their dad, whichever. Um, hopefully they can make it. We had to miss out on a visit last weekend, so missing them pretty bad. All right, so let's start it around. Almost got them all in here. I want to make sure I get all those seasonings in there. So now that I have most of them in, it's not going to be a big splattery mess. I'll use my tongs, those are silicone, and get these all in here. All right, so I'm just keep moving these around. This really takes a couple of minutes to get these all cooked, and then we're going to put them in a in a in a bowl. I'm not going to put them back in the same pan I had them in. I don't have time to step back over there and rinse it out. So, hope you can all see that. All right. They're cooking up really quick. I have this pan on medium high, by the way. So, see all that nice juice of the seasoning. ooh -wee. Let that reduce down a little bit. That's going to be some good stuff. They cook really super fast. And remember, they're going to be, you know, back in a pan here after a while. So... This isn't the only heat they're gonna get. So if I miss one or two trying to get full sides of them flipped over, is not gonna be a make or break food poisoning situation. <laughs> Shrimps cook really fast. If you don't like shrimp, you can easily do this with chicken. Just dice it, just cube it up. And then just do it with chicken. <laughs> Pretty much you could probably do it with just about any protein. Probably do it with fish. Like a tuna steak, cube it up. That might be good. This actually sounds really good. All right, so. But this spicy, just the season blend is gonna be good on just about any protein. So, I don't want it to start to boil too much, so we're gonna get this out of here in just a second. I'm not looking for boiled shrimp, we're looking for sauteed. The reason this is getting a little more fluid than you'll probably get when you do yours is because these were still a little tiny bit frozen, so there's some water in them. So. And the effort of trying to get several dishes done. My fryer is ready, so I'm going to get this shrimp out of here and I'm gonna do those mozzarella sticks real quick. Then we'll be back to finish the next part of this meal. So I'll get these in a bowl. Hey guys, I'm running up some marinara to go with these yummy. Look at those. Beautiful. Here, let me put them on the blank. Beautiful. Okay, just a sneak non-keto friendly hashtag no trigger okay guys i'm back so uh read ahead on the recipe because you are going to have to go really fast on the rest of this recipe so in here i have the three tablespoons of soy sauce one tablespoon of sriracha and one and a half teaspoons which is a half of a tablespoon of the rice wine vinegar 
So I'm just putting in here and I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up because this is gonna go pretty fast once we start cooking the cauliflower. So I don't wanna be running back and forth trying to measure out stuff. So we're gonna throw our second tablespoon of ghee and there's some sriracha on this spoon and that's okay, it's all going together anyway. And we're gonna get this pan back on medium high. I turned it off because I was working with the mozzarella. So we're gonna get this up back up to temperature. We're gonna throw our cauliflower in here and then we're gonna get that ready to start cooking. Now I don't like, I'm gonna go ahead and move this. I don't like my cauliflower like crunchy, but this isn't for me, so that's okay. <laughs> but I don't. Like, I like mine to be cooked soft like rice, but some people like that little bite. So, we're gonna get our cauliflower rice. Let's see, just to be, I'm gonna use four cups. I think that's probably just about what I have. Let me grab a bigger measuring cup. Okay, I'm getting warm here. Let me put this over this side. Nice. Okay, we're gonna be good. Okay, we're putting all of our cauliflower rice in here. I all it out. It was just probably a little bit under four cups, but we'll be all right with that. Um, I had used a little bit of it in a recipe last night, so it would have been four cups that I didn't do that. All right. We're gonna go ahead and spread, try to spread this out as much as we can after we get this little stirred up. We're gonna like get this level on the bottom of the pan and we're gonna move it around every couple of minutes. This is gonna start going fast. We probably won't turn the camera off and on during this. I'm not that good at splitting video. So if, if we get bloopers in here, we get bloopers in here. That it is what it is. You either you see too much or not enough. Okay, so we're gonna cook this for two or three minutes. And I'm just gonna kind of get this spread back out. So far, it seems like it's gonna be really delicious. I know that shrimp and the sauce with the shrimp is gonna be amazing. Right. So the leftovers can soar for up to four days, which is cool. Get my Gotcha. Um, I was gonna try to do this in a foodie, but this is just really, I might try to do the stir fry in there. But, I've been doing a lot of Asian food lately. So this is a special request by Christina. I took the Keto Connect cookbook with me to work and she said, you know what, I'm gonna tag four videos. I'm gonna take four videos, four videos, not videos, four recipes with my pink stickies that I want you to make for me. Just want to show you how many stickies are on here. In case you can see, yeah, way more than four. More like 20. Anyways. Uh-oh, that's my page. Page 133, guys. I know. Yes, I haven't already memorized it. Okay. Nope. Okay. Oh. Right, babe. There we go. This is the cookbook page. I don't know if I'm supposed to show that, but anyway, I'll I'll tag them in the video. Alright. My coffee maker makes a very good cook with sand. Alright, so we're getting some color on this. This is the raw cauliflower rice from the produce section, not the cooked stuff from the freezer aisle, so. Okay, so I have a whole onion, and we're gonna use half of that for this. So we're gonna go ahead and add half of this onion. Probably not all chopped as finely as it should be, but you know what? It's gonna taste good. We're gonna get our ginger and get that in here too. Okay. I don't know. 
smells really good. These are pink. And it was supposed to be fresh, but we're going with what we got. Oh, we're almost out. Okay, one. We're just gonna get the rest of this out of here. Yep. And that's gonna be it for this. That goes on the grocery list. Okay. I use that all the time. Okay, so we're gonna get that in here. Get this stirred around. We're just gonna let this cook until the onions get a little translucent, so you can smell that ginger, which is already. Oh wow, that smells really good. Okay. We're gonna take this soft mixture. Let me double check. I just wanna be sure. Oh, we're supposed to add the broccoli first. Okay. Okay. Got a cup of broccoli. I didn't cut it too small, but I didn't leave any piece too big. So we're just gonna cook this for a couple minutes. So the broccoli is like really bright, bright green. We're not cooking it to soft, we're just getting nice crisp on it. I don't know about you, but this looks awesome to me. What? No, I'm not the best photographer or video artist or whatever you call it, but I have fun making these videos, so I hope that you enjoy them. Those of you who watch them, because I really have a lot of fun making them. And Christina has a lot of fun eating them. Alright. See how bright green our broccoli is? That is beautiful! We're going to pour our little mixture of the soy sauce, sriracha, and rice wine vinegar in here. Oh, yeah. Get that moving around. If that don't sound like fried rice, I don't know what sounds like fried rice. So, get this all incorporated. And then we're going to start making our little well in the middle after we let this just... Let's just let this cook just a second. Grab some eggs. I'm gonna put them in the same little cup. So we're going to have two large eggs. All right. Got our eggs. We're ready to go. All right. This is, smells amazing. Holy! You guys killed it, Mad Mega. This is awesome. Glad I didn't stray too far from the recipe because this smells awesome. Okay, so we're gonna, this is how I make my other fried rice. So we're gonna just crack our eggs right here in the middle. Before they can start to cook too much. Let's take our tongs and break our yolks. So I'm just gonna give it a quick spin. Like let it start to scramble and then in just here in a minute we're gonna throw our shrimp back in so we're gonna get these eggs scrambled up a little bit first okay let's turn this back up a little bit i had turned it down a little bit all right when our eggs get scrambled up here it's okay if a couple of ingredients they're all going together anyway so not a big deal. See our eggs cook in here? Wow. That looks amazing. Let's just start combining this into our rice before it's all the way cooked. Give me just... Okay, guys. I'm back. Small dishwasher catastrophe. All right. We're in trouble with my dishwasher, which is crazy because we barely use it. It's a brand new house, so I don't get it. But anyway... And get our egg combined everywhere here. All sides of the pan. Everything start to get. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I don't know if I've ever seen them make this on a video. They probably have. Okay. So we're gonna let this just settle in for a minute. Thank you. 
Alright. Here we go. Shrimp in. Last one in the pool. Oh my gosh. Does that not look beautiful? Now, if you like sesame oil, they say either serve this immediately, uh, drizzle with sesame oil, and some. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Uh, with some sesame oil, and then you can. I'm just letting the shrimp re warm. And then uh, some sesame seeds. God, I can spit it out. So I'm going to get this plated up. Get some. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That is amazing. All right. Well, I'm going to get this plated up, give you a look, see what it looks like, and then we'll be on to our next dish. Yay. All right, guys, here we are. We're back. So we're going to do a chicken stir fry because not everybody eats shrimp at my office, including me. So I cubed up a, just a big chicken breast. So I got it all cubed up. We're going to use this, and I'm going to use for the special requested that I know exactly what I'm using. This is a power slaw. It has kohlrabi, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, carrots, red cabbage, and kale. And so it's all washed, ready to eat, and I'm gonna use this to make a stir fry. It's really good. It's got six grams of carbs, but three fiber, and there's three servings in here, which is probably about right. So it's pretty good. There's a little bit of sugar in there from the vegetables, but do the best. That you can do. All right, so we're gonna get this turned on medium high heat. We're going to add, and I've said this a million times, and I'll say it a million more. I'm not a big fan of ses the smell of sesame oil, but it's a necessity in these kind of dishes. So I'm just gonna put a tad in there, and then I'm going to get in some olive oil quickly to move mask the sense of that. It's about one and a half tablespoons of that. We're gonna use. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna get our chicken in there as soon as that heats up. We're gonna put our, our onions first, then the chicken. I'm trying to get the jar open. Okay, Ooh. so I used the last of my ginger paste, which you guys saw. So I'm gonna use some help from my, some ginger powder, but I do have some minced garlic that I'm gonna use or wherever the front of this bottle is. You know what it is. Okay, got the bottle open. When? Okay, so I'm gonna watch this for when it gets hot. So, we want to get a sizzle. We're going to use our same little tongy thing we use for the shrimp. I just love these little silicone tongs. I got them for my foodie, but I'm liking them over here too. So, let's get the rest of our onion. We use the other half in the fried rice. We got this half here in the for the stir fry. And I could have done chicken fried rice and shrimp fried rice, but meh, fried rice, fried rice. Okay. What fun is that? Ooh, I hate the smell of that. Toasted sesame oil. Okay, we're just going to let these get a little bit translucent. And we're going to get a tablespoon of our minced barley. Well, no, sorry. Half a tablespoon. My bad. So as soon as that's ready, we also have a fourth cup of water over here. I've got my rice wine vinegar, my coconut aminos, and my sriracha. I have all that ready. And then put the bag looking. Okie dokie. We have a hot mess behind this camera, so mm, you would be so proud of the disaster that I, that I continue to clean up. So we're gonna get our garlic in here just for a minute. We don't want to burn it. Yeah, splatter all over the stove. That's what I love. That's my fave. All right, we're going to get our chicken in here. Just to be completely honest, this chicken is still a little bit frozen. But you know what? We just do things on the fly around here, so this is what we're going to do. So we're going to cook this chicken. I'm going to let this chicken cook. I'm going to turn it down just a tad. It's a little bit hot. So we're going to cook this to make sure that we get this chicken cooked all the way through. We're not going to finish cooking it with the vegetables. With the chicken, we want to go ahead and cook all the way through. I posted the pictures of the 
of the finished product of the, oh, I don't think I showed you that. Here is our plated shrimp fried rice. Yummy! This is soft. I need a more a stronger light bulb. Can you see it? Oh no. Oh, it is so delicious. Okay. I don't even need shrimp and that looks delicious. Okay, let's back on task. I'll take some better pictures of both plates, plates and add them at the end. Alright, so get my chicken cooked. Remember it's a little frozen, so it might take a few extra minutes. But don't skip this. Bless you. So the last couple days we've been watching US curling tournament. Uh, it's an international tournament or a national tournament. No, oh, international. They're playing who are they playing now, babe? Korea? They won last night. We never knew how strategic and actually like calculate. I mean, it's like playing pool, but on a big giant floor with rocks with handles on them. It's pretty interesting. Never in my life. Thank you, off season, for another unorthodox sport we've watched. Table tennis, water ballet. You name it. He's got to watch sports all the time. All right. So while I let this chicken cook, I'm gonna go ahead and start heating the liquids together. So we're gonna get um, we're gonna have to use two tablespoons of uh, two tablespoons of this better than bouillon. We're gonna use the roasted chicken. I like the beef in my beef stir fry. It's really good. Um, and then we're going to salt and pepper. We're gonna use a tablespoon of garlic to put in there. We're going to use usually a tablespoon of ginger paste, but I don't have any more than these. Dry. And then we're going to use two tablespoons of coconut aminos and one teaspoon of rice wine vinegar. So I'm just going to grab these and I'm going to throw them in with my fourth a cup of water. So it's all good in here. Maybe not. Let's see. Looks like it might work it out. Okay. So two tablespoons of, of our coconut aminos and a teaspoon of our rice wine vinegar. Just barely. This is a third cup measuring cup, so I just barely got it in there. Okay, so since I'm using powder ginger, I'm gonna go ahead and get it in here now. We're also gonna go ahead and add our two tablespoons of our better than bouillon. And I just love this stuff. You have to be careful, it can be a little salty, so. I just have a lot of veggies going in here, so it's gonna be good. All right, so got this in here, so let's get our veggies in. I love that this has got Brussels sprouts and I love Brussels sprouts. It's like big half of pieces too. I'm just gonna start letting this cook down just a little bit. Get all that. We're gonna deglaze the pan with our soy sauce and water. So I got a fourth a cup of water, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and a teaspoon of rice wine vinegar in a little third cup measure over here, and it fits perfect. So. Just try to get this mixed all around with all the wood, all the good veggies and onions and all that mixed in with the broccoli. And I just like to let this wilt a little bit. So, in goes our liquid. And we're going to turn this up just a little bit. Normally I would like to put the sizzle, but you know what? It is what it is. We'll cook this liquid off. Look at that. This is going to be fabulous. All right. Turning it up pretty high because I don't want these veggies to get too soggy. So 
So I'm just going to make sure this liquid gets nice and thick. And it is getting there now. Probably would have been better to have my panel hotter when I put my liquids in, but you know what? New perfection around this joint. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? A lot of great veggies in here. Good macros. Okay. Look how great that is. All right. We don't want to cook all the liquid out, so we have a little bit of sauce with it. And we got our chicken stir fry. And it's super quick and easy. We didn't have to chop a bunch of stuff. And if you don't like shrimp, it goes great as a side note, a side card to the shrimp fried rice. Even mix them together. Be great. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get this in a bowl, show you a picture, get all of this disaster put back in my cabinet, and get ready to go sit down and relax because this girl's tired. It is now 9.30, and I was cooking with you guys at 6.30 this morning. So, yeah, that's a long day. Mm, yeah, plus, I managed to work in between there, too, so. Alrighty. Like I always do, I'll get the measurements and ingredients and for these up on my page later on. And then you can go back and read and re watch the video and the ingredients will be in the description box. I always post the video first, then I go back and edit it because I watch the video to remember what I put in it. But this one I have written down because I used the same one for my beef. So for I substituted the uh, chicken better than bouillon for the beef better than bouillon. So yummy and delicious healthy and nutritious see if I can feel okay guys this is our stir fry oh let's get it back to the light this is our stir fry turned out absolutely fabulous and then here's our put it back under the light that light looks good right there um, there's our fried rice so we have our stir fry and our fried rice and one night, then we have our meal prep containers over here waiting for that to get poured in with them. We're going to seal these up and we'll be ready to go to work tomorrow. See you in a minute. Well, hey guys, that's it. We just got those two dishes ready. Actually, I mean, we made some fried cheese and we did that all in just about an hour, a little over an hour, maybe an hour, close to an hour and a half. And that's because I was having dishwasher problems. So I kept having to break off and go take care of that. So I'm going to get all of this situation picked up. I'm going to get ready to go sit down and relax and edit this video. So thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell. All things YouTube. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.